Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prove that the volume of a square pyramid is V is equal to 1 over 3 times L square times the height. So here I've drawn the diagram of a square pyramid. As you can see, the height is from here to here. And since this is a square pyramid, each side has length L. So this side is L. This side is also L. And if you cut this pyramid right here, and you look at the cut, you will see a square. The height of this cross section from here to here is Y. And each side of the cross section is going to be A. So this side is A. This side is also going to be A. Now, the volume of any shape is the same as the integral from A to B of ay dy where ay is the area of the cross section which is the square now you might be wondering why are we integrating with respect to y well the trick is as you can see the cross section is right on the y axis so it is easier to integrate with respect to y now let's find the area of the cross section ay is the same as the base to the power of 2 because this is the area of the square right there. And we know that the base is a, so we can replace it with a. That's going to be the same as a to the power of 2. Now, since we're trying to integrate with respect to y, we need to rewrite this equation in terms of y. And let me show you how to do that. So we can use proportional fractions we can say that the height of the cross section, which is y, over the total height of the pyramid, which is h, is equal to the base of the cross section, which is a, over the total length of the base, which is l. And so a is just going to be l over h times y. So we can substitute it into this formula, that's going to give us L over H times Y to the power of 2, which will simply be L squared divided by H squared times Y to the power of 2. So we successfully found out the area formula for the cross section, and we can substitute it into this integral to find the volume of this pyramid. So the volume of this pyramid right here is going to be V is equal to the integral from 0 to h. So the lower bound is 0, the upper bound is h, and the area formula that we found was l square divided by h square times y to the power of 2 dy. So don't forget the dy. So l square and h square are just numbers, they're constants, so we can move them out of the integral. So this is equal to l square over h squared times the integral from 0 to h of y to the power of 2 dy. And this integral right here is pretty easy to do. We're going to have l to the power of 2 divided by the height to the power of 2 times the antiderivative of y squared, which will simply be 1 over 3 times y to the power of 3. And don't forget, you have to do it from h to 0. So the next step is we just substitute these numbers into our formula right there. So let's do yellow this time, and we are going to have L squared divided by H squared times, this is going to be 1 over 3 times H to the power of 3, so 1 over 3 times H to the power of 3 minus the 0. So 1 over 3 times 0 to the power of 3. And we know that this is going to be 0. That's pretty obvious. So we can rewrite this one more time into L squared divided by H squared times 1 over 3 times the height to the power of 3. So we can deduct these ones. We can cancel them out. So this is gone and 3 is gone. We are left with L squared times 1 over 3 times the height. And finally, this is equal to 1 over 3 
times the length to the power of 2 times the height. So this right here is the volume of the square pyramid. And I just showed you how to get this formula using calculus integration. So I hope you enjoy. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.